Hello, mystical being. Welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and thank you so much for allowing me to join you on your journey today. So today we're going to be looking at the next 30 days. So whenever you're seeing this video, it's timeless. So the next 30 days from whenever you're viewing this reading. So go ahead and pick a deck. We're going to pick, go through the deck, get the cards, shuffle through them. And then we're also going to go in with our classic tarot here and get those deeper details. So I have my mystical wisdom oracle the Native Spirit Oracle, and the Star Seed Oracle. So go on ahead and make your pick, and I will see you in your reading. Hello, pile number one, or deck number one, I should say. So let's go on ahead and get right into your reading. What does your spirit guides need you to know about the next 30 days? What's going to be happening for you? What's going to be manifesting, possibly? Just getting these details here. Let's see. Oh, wow. First card out. Good fortune. Invite magic in. Look at that. So over the next 30 days, you are having excellent fortune. So some of you, oops, sorry, I knocked the camera. For some of you, fortune is going to mean something different. Not everyone, fortune means monetary value. We have animal bonds. Stand up for all animals. So I'm going to pull these cards and then we'll get into the deeper meaning here. What else do your spirit guides have to let you know? Memories. Cherish memories of loved ones. Okay. I see where this is going, but I want to get one more card before I say definitively, of course, what is going on here. Ah, look at that. Archangel Gabriel. And I always, whenever I get an angel card here, I always pull an additional card because, oh, and it's 111 when I looked at the timer. Archangel Gabriel, what's your message? What's your message for the lovely viewer here? What is your message? So, boom, here we go. We got, ooh, knowledge. Seek knowledge. So this is powerful, okay? Honestly, the first vibe, the first message I really get from your reading is that you have a lot of spirits around you at this time. I'm getting ancestors, passed down loved ones, really, really assisting you to bring whatever this fortune is in your life. I feel like you might be a very logical person because you have this knowledge card here, but do you also have this card here? It says invite magic in and they, they're at the, at the beginning and the end. So I feel like sometimes you, you may battle with believing in magic and letting the universe work its magic. Like I feel like for you, Sometimes that's difficult because you want to believe, you want to invite the magic in, but yet you're so, you're so logical, which this is one of your blessings to be so intelligent is a blessing in this world nowadays. But your angels, your passed down loved ones, animal spirits. So if you have certain animals you've been uh, like seeing a lot, those are animals, spirit guides assisting you along your journey. It's like, this is how, okay. Spirit said, arrange the cards like this. So I'll show you how I see this. This is you. These two cards are you, right? This is how I see it. It's like all of these spirits are surrounding you, uplifting you to bring in this good fortune, this magic into your life. I mean, this is so powerful. The fact that this was the first card out is incredible. Like, seriously, that's freaking amazing. You, you're going to have a lot of divine support throughout the next couple of weeks, the next 30 days, especially from Archangel Gabriel. For me, Gabriel is the, um, the angel I associate with ambition. And for me, this is me personally. I know other people will have their own associations with the angel, but this is for me personally. I've always worked with Archangel Gabriel when I'm trying to bring something into reality. So you might be at that point in your life where you're trying to really get your life together, set things up, or maybe you just are having a goal you're trying to accomplish and it's a 3D goal. You know, it's an earth-based goal. It's not like a emotional or physical or I'm sorry, it is physical, but emotional or spiritual um, fortune you're looking for. You're looking for something tangible in your hands possibly. So let's see what else we got here. Next 30 days too. You might feel more inspired. 
I just get this, I heard Spirit say something about inspiration. So maybe, oh, look at that, messenger of creativity and hope. So Archangel Gabriel probably working to make you feel extra creative or ambitious to accomplish this goal. So let's see, let's clarify with the tarot here. We have judgment in reverse. Ooh, we have the five of swords. Whoa, that card just shot out. Where did it even go? <gasps> Y'all. Okay, maybe some of you need to watch the Native Wisdom. Look at how this card landed. I shit you not. This card, this is the Native Spirit Oracle box. So maybe some of you felt called to the Native Spirit Oracle. I recommend you watch that too. But my Native Spirit Oracle, I, they use a lot of animal imagery. Plus you have this animal bond here. I really think you have a lot of animal spirit guides around you at this time trying to really, ow, I dropped that on my toe, trying to really bring this golden opportunity to you. So let's start with these first three cards here. Judgment reversed, five of swords, ace of wands. So I feel like whatever this good fortune is, it's like, have you ever seen that like cheesy Facebook meme? where it's like a guy mining for diamonds and he's so close, but he gives up and someone else is about to get the diamonds. It's like that kind of vibe, like judgment reverse. It's like you, you're not sure if this is going to happen for you anymore. This calling, you feel this higher calling or this, this calling to do something, but be, because of the failures you've been experiencing or the troubles and the struggles you've been experiencing, trying to bring this into reality, you feel that you start to doubt it, which, your spirit guides are saying, we understand why you would start doubting it. It's been a while. You've been working on this for a while, or you've been feeling this way for a while. But Ace of Wands, this Ace of Wands just completely contradicts these two cards. And this is like, you know, a hand coming from the ether, giving you this, this opportunity. Wands energy is fire energy. It's passionate. It's it's heartfelt, it's soul driven. So I really feel like you are about to receive this Ace of Wands within this next 30 days. Whatever the Ace of Wands means for you, you know, I have different people watching, so this is a general reading. So of course, as always, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, once again, needing to be less logical. Interesting, whoa. We have the Six of Swords reversed and the Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, and you got the Six of Cups on the bottom. So I really get this vibe that I heard this. I have the song in my head that just popped up into my head. And it's like, my head, my heart is torturing me, yeah. Because my mind and your arms, something, something. I think it's by like Ava or Ava something. I see the album cover in my head. She has like blonde hair on the top and orange hair on the bottom. It's like a reflection. I don't know the artist's name, but that song popped in my head. And I think the reason why Spirit popped it into my head is because in the song, she's having trouble merging her head and her heart to think as one and to make a decision about something. So I really feel like that's a really huge message for you here is to merge heart and mind together. Make that decision with the heart and the mind. So maybe I'm going to just make up an example here. Let's say, let's say you are working a new job, right? And the job makes a lot of money, but it's not necessarily like what your heart feels passionate to do, but we live on earth. You need the money because this is a great paying job. This is when your heart and mind would come together. So maybe you try to not seek fulfillment through your job. Maybe you find a hobby or an activity that grants you that fulfillment that you're looking for. Merging heart and mind together. I guess Spirit asked me to give you an example because sometimes when people say these things, it's like, okay, great, but what do I do now? So hopefully that kind of gave you a little introspective into what you could do now. I don't know. All right, let's see what else Spirit has for you here in the next 30 days for the beautiful viewer. Ooh, the lovers. Okay. All right. Now I see a different perspective of this reading as well. Some of you have had your heart broken and you're scared about being in a relationship and you're overthinking things. You're not letting yourself move forward and you keep asking your spirit guides to be in a loving relationship, but then you're not working with them on it. 
the lovers, you need to make a decision. Either way, whether this is romantic or this is not romantic at all, there's a choice that needs to be made or will be made over the next 30 days that's going to change your life. I feel like some of you do have the potential to meet someone, but once again, if you're if you're not doing anything to go meet that person, or if you're not doing anything to accomplish these goals and aspirations, then it's it, then this won't mean much, right? With tarot, tarot gives you a glimpse of the current path of your future. Things can always change, and with the energy you're projecting right now, this is how it's looking. It's looking fabulous. So your spirit guides are really really encouraging you to keep going and to not overthink this and to allow yourself to have fun. You got these polka dots here. Polka dots in the tarot mean you need to have fun and relax and enjoy life. I feel like by having fun and letting yourself go on adventures and maybe putting this just on the back burner for now. And it's not like it's going to go away forever. Clearly, this is going to manifest. I mean, the first card out was good fortune. It's like one of those things where people like, when they're like, oh, love will find you when you stop looking. And that sounds so fucking ridiculous. But then you stop looking and then the love finds you. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel about this. When, when you finally stop forcing this to happen for you, it happens. <laughs> I hate that. It's like, can't you just use my effort to bring this to me? <laughs> Ten of wands. Yeah. You guys are at the end of your rope. You're tired. You're wondering if this is going to happen or if manifestation is actually real. The thing about the Ten of Wands is that he's about to set his, uh, his wands down. If you look, there's a town right here. And this is where he lives. He's bringing this wood back to the town. He's about to set down his burden. I mean, this is card number 10. So I feel like this is a very powerful symbolism of you right now. You are about to set your sticks down. You are about to mine the diamond in that cheesy Facebook meme. Like, you are right there. And I feel like this is more so motivating you to continue to strive and do what you are doing so this can really manifest for you. This is beautiful. All right, spirit, give them three more cards, three more cards here. Closing message for the beautiful viewer. Five of cups reverse. Awesome. Super happy energy. One more card, please. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Love it. I love, love, love this. Okay. So we have the five of cups. We have the hanged man, wow, this is powerful. Okay, five of cups reversed, super happy energy. And I love the story of the five of cups. So when it's upright, this card represents sadness, feeling like you missed out on something. This guy is crying over spilt wine. But if he were to just lift his head up, he would see there's a castle across the stream. And then if he were to turn this way, he would see there's a bridge to get to the castle. And then if he were to turn all the way around, he would see there's two cups of wine still. So just because these three spilt, just because these three left his life, there's still two great opportunities that lead to something even better. And this coming out reverse shows me that you are on the bridge. Like you are walking to the castle. You picked up the two cups. You're walking to that castle. Very happy, abundant energy being brought to you within the next 30 days. And it's because of this hardship. You are at the end of this hardship, whatever this is for you. Then you had the hanged man reversed, being illuminated. Something about the hanged man is that he is enlightened, which is why you have this knowledge card here too. You are intelligent. You know how to get yourself out of the situation. When the hanged man is upright, it's like he knows how to save himself, but he doesn't necessarily have the core strength to undo the rope tying him. But here you are, hanged man reversed. You have the enlightenment and you're doing the things necessary to bring this nine of pentacles into your life. This good fortune. You are taking those steps. Spirit says the, the, there's an illusion of no progress. There is tons of progress being done, but I feel like it's more progress evident in the spirit world rather, or like the 5D energetic world rather than 3D. But I really feel over the next 30 days, it will become way more apparent to you. And this is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, congratulations. That's all I got to say to you. Well, my pile one, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I also do personal readings. It'll be linked with my link tree down below if you are interested. And I also offer other spiritual services like Reiki and stuff like that. So check it out. But yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Take care.
Hello, Pile 2, or the people who chose the Native Spirit Oracle. Let's dive in and see what your message is from Spirit over the next 30 days. Spirit guides of the highest love, light, and vibration, please tell Pile Number 2, the beautiful beings who chose the Native Spirit Oracle, what their message is over the next 30 days. What can they expect? What will be coming their way? What messages do you need them to know? All right, let's see what spirit has going on for you today. Oh, sorry if you heard a loud scratching noise, my microphone got caught. <laughs> oh, and that's another reason why if some of you are subscribed and you're like, why isn't her face in the video? It's because my microphone is still broken, but I just want to fucking post something. So that's why we're here. All right, awesome. First card out, you have Spirit of Earth. Love that. All right, what else do we have going on for you next 30 days? Ooh, Song of the Wild. Wow, that's so good. Oh my gosh. What else do you have in spirit? Okay. Ooh, we got Trickster. I see where your spirit guides are going with this already, but let me pull one last card. One more card, Spirit. Oh, okay. All right. So, and you have this Spirit Keeper of the South. I'll keep that down there because that's important. So, some of you definitely came from Pile 1 because I do see um, a themed message here, which could be just an overall collective energy here. So, starting first with the Spirit of Earth. This is a very abundant energy, very grounding, very stable, very sturdy. I hear the word sturdy. Maybe some of you guys have been um, really laying the foundation of your life down and getting things together for yourself or trying to get your life together. I hear that phrase, like just really trying to get things on pack. But I also feel this this drive or this want to have fun and explore and not force yourself to get your life together. Or maybe there's an energy here of you are being too serious and you need to go out and have fun. Song of the Wild, it's about, you know, going in and having fun in the sprinklers, dancing in the rain, singing your heart out, enjoying life. And you can enjoy life at this stage of this card because your manifestations have arrived, because you have created a healthy balance in your life. However, you have this trickster spirit here or this trickster energy. And I don't feel like anyone's going to be tricking you or messing with you over the next 30 days. I feel like this energy is you, my beautiful being, my lovely viewer here. You are tricking yourself. Or maybe you have tricked someone and you there's something going on with that. I don't know. That could be for someone specific. Maybe you feel like someone tricked you or you tricked them. I'm not sure what that is. This is a specific message. Hold on. Spirit is bringing this through. There's a situation here where, and we'll go back to the main message, but I got I to gotta dissect this here. There is someone who feels slighted, slighted by someone or you slighted someone or there's something here where there was a tricking energy and it caused a moment of pause. Maybe you are like chasing your dreams and something happened to where you're fully convinced they won't happen and you've put yourself on pause. I'm not sure what that is about. This has to resonate for someone because it's coming through so strong. I have to talk about it. Either way, you have this, look at that, in the flowing river here. Beautiful. You have the Spirit Keeper of the South and you have flowing river. So Spirit Keeper of the South is warm, abundant, successful, rich energy. With the flowing river, this card means you're in the flow of the universe. So there is abundance, wealth, success, happiness flowing to you over the next 30 days. Okay, this has to be a collective energy of people re reaping what they have sowed, which makes sense because we're going from summer to fall. Then you have uh, the first autumn Day of autumn, what is that, on the 22nd of September? When is that? Oh, I'm looking at my calendar here. Yeah, Maybon, fall equinox is on the 22nd. When is the first day of fall, though? Is that the autumn equinox? No. I don't know. Well, look that up because I feel like, 
I feel like there's a ch- when the seasons change, your mindset changes. I get this energy of like, you're leaving this energy behind. We're going back to the main message now. You're leaving this energy, this like imposter syndrome. You can have what you want. You can have what you desire. And you are feeling more positive about that because you have this abundance and this flowing river entering your life. You feel more self-confident about these things appearing before you in your life. Maybe some of you have been working on your, your like mental health. And maybe that's why this trickster card rings true because a lot of mental illness, anxiety, panic disorders, depression, that tricks you, right? That tricks you into putting yourself on pause into, and I, I can speak with this. I've also dealt with those things as well. Like it really puts your life on pause. So maybe, you know, the sun is coming up in your life. You're feeling more positive, more happy, and you're able over the next 30 days to really feel like you're coming out of your shell and you're able to enjoy your life again. That's powerful. There's been a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world. So I feel like now more than ever, just dancing to the beat of your own drum is so important. And I feel you doing that over the next 30 days. You're just you just are going to leave a mindset behind. And once again, this is a general read. So take what resonates and apply it to your life and how it resonates and leave the rest behind. But I do see, like I get the phrase, the sun is coming up, the sun is rising. Like think of like in a horror movie when the sun finally comes up, there's almost an illusion of safety. But in this case, it's not an illusion. It's like true safety, security. We got split the deck. You got the tower. All right, spirit. Whoa, all right. That one wants to come out. (laughs) Still shuffling them, but we'll take this one. Show us what you got, spirit. What do you have for the beautiful being viewing this message over the next 30 days? Ace of Cups reverse. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to pull three cards first, and then we'll dive into that message. Spirit guides, what do you have for the viewer? Page of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and the Five of Wands. Oh my gosh. With the Eight of Swords. Oh no, baby. Oh no, no, no. You really think something's not going to work out. Relationship, a job, an opportunity, a dream that you have. You really are convinced. Eight of Swords, you're convinced this is not going to work for you. And you're convinced through good reason. You've been through a lot. You've, you've been battling a lot and you feel like you've just missed a bunch of opportunities and that it's not going to happen. Eight of swords. It's like being trapped. Yeah. Having an idea, two of wands, having an idea of where you want to go, but feeling stuck, feeling like you can't get out of it. Oh my goodness. And that's why we have this trickster spirit coming up. Oh, babies. This makes me feel a little sad because your spirit guides are showing me what's about to happen for you, and it's great. It's beautiful. You're going to, it just sounds really cheesy, but you're going to realize why you had to go through all these things, why things took so long. Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> it, look at that. Ace of Swords. You guys, you have like nothing to worry about. Your The universe is asking you to trust. It's asking for 50-50 to meet it halfway. You put in your effort and the universe will meet you halfway. Oh my God. I have this fortune right on my altar. Spirit reminded me I have this here. It says, if you continually continually give, you will continually have. I mean, I think that is just boom shakalaka like the message for you. I feel like something that will really help you feel motivated and like things are going to work out for you is if you just put half, and I'm not saying you're not working towards your goal. Obviously you are, but I feel like doing things beside your goal, which this is a similar message to the first pile, will help you manifest. Okay, it's like two unlike things that actually affect each other. So think of like if you're trying to manifest more money, but you are unhappy. And you think, okay, I just got to work a bunch of jobs and make a bunch of money and then it'll happen. Or I got to just do a bunch of spell work and work this job I hate and it'll happen. And it's like, no, because you're unhappy, you're not manifesting money. Or because you 
are so work focused you're not able to obtain a relationship because you're not even allowing yourself to try it's like things like that like two unlike scenarios that do affect each other but ace of swords here with the knight of pentacles you are going to reap the seeds you you um you sowed earlier this year yeah really oh my goodness Spirit, can you give Pile 2 some advice? What, what would you like them to do over the next 30 days to change their mindset, change their perspective? All right. Oh, my gosh. Definitely some of you from Pile 1 are watching this one. Look what came out again. All right. So this is Spirit's advice to you. This is what they advise you doing over the next 30 days to help you really believe that this, that beautiful things are going to take place for you. Page of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Page of Pentacles. So clearly there is some kind of good news making its way to you. This, I, I wouldn't fluff your feathers, okay? I'm a very honest reader. I tell it how it is. I really feel you are going to receive some good news. Spirit also says, educate yourself, learn, read books. Um, do hobbies that you enjoy doing, watch movies that you love, do things that uplift you. If you look, he's uplifting this pinnacle. He's uplifting this dream he has. So I feel like by doing things that are not exactly what you're looking for here, maybe, you know, getting a massage or eating your favorite meal once a week, like something like that, just things that make you happy. You have the Knight of, or I'm sorry, the King of Cups, King of Cups, he represents someone who is able to maintain his composure despite the chaos around him, despite the doubt around him. He is still able to maintain emotional maturity and believe in himself. So I feel like your guides are asking you at this time to have a level of emotional maturity to, and I'm not saying you're immature, I'm saying in this context here, to really believe that this will happen for you. If it can happen for anyone, then it can happen for you too. You, in this 10 of um, wands reversed, you are putting your wands down. You are putting your burdens down. You will find this peace that you seek, okay? You are in the flow of the universe. The abundance is flowing to you. And you're, you, look, this eight of, uh, this, um, sorry, your guides are talking so fast. This eight of swords is right in the middle and something beautiful, look. So you have this king of cups who's in deep water, represents being in some deep shit emotionally, right? But then you have this eight of swords where she's, in, she's standing in shallow water. She has tied herself up in this situation. So I feel like spirit says, yes, you have gone through some shit. That is valid. But you've also been through stuff where you have, uh, don't shoot the messenger. You have been in situations where you have put yourself in that problem. You have put yourself in that mindset. So Spirit's saying, let's merge these two together. And what are you trying to say here, Spirit? Merge the two together and really heal those aspects of yourself. I, okay, that's beautiful. Spirit is saying over the next 30 days, you will receive a lot of blessings that make it obvious. Look at this. You go from, and I just, just willy-nilly just happened to pick that up. I didn't even mean to. You go from this energy trapped, confused, stuck to this energy. The blindfold is off to a sword's reverse. You've made the decision. You're okay with the mystery. You're choosing to come off of what you've always known and venture out into something new, whether that's emotionally, physically, spiritually, whatever this applies for you. I see you really making things happen for yourself and making beautiful progress forward. Pile two, please, please, please keep your chin up. You're, over the next 30 days, your spirit guides are really bringing in a ton of support to help you. Ask them for help every day. Spirit guides of the highest love, light, and vibration, please continue to help me along my path. Please continue to show me the way that is for my highest good. And so it is. Claim this reading, y'all. You are good. Remove the illusion. Remember, <laughs> if you continually give, you will continually have. Pile 2, that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. Become a mystical being today. I also offer private readings, and I'll have that listed on my link tree down below and other spiritual services like Reiki, so check it out. Follow my Instagram. I post cute stuff there all the time, and I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.
Hello, Pile 3. So let's get into your message. I call upon the spirit guides of the highest love, light, and vibration to please tell us what is happening for the beautiful being who picked this pile. What is happening for them over the next 30 days? What is the message they need to know? What do they need to go know that is for their highest good? Spirit guides of the highest love, light, and vibration. What is their message for the next 30 days? Sorry, I bumped the camera. What is your message? All right. First card out. Woo! Cracked open. Rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. I don't think you're going to hit rock bottom over the next 30 days, okay? This is just symbolism all right i'm gonna pull more cards before i get into the message you're not hitting rock bottom don't worry about that first things first and i wouldn't say that if i didn't believe it i don't have time to lie throat chakra is too or activated for that lying bullshit all right let's see what else we got here we got perspective oh yeah I can see where this is going. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Next 30 days. All right. I might have to just dive into the first two cards and then pull after I give the message because... Spirit has stopped spitting out the cards. Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Y'all, are you talking to your ex? <laughs> mm, what's going on here? That's how I feel. Okay. So the other two cards that came out, you have, sorry, I didn't show you. Karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. You have portal, doors are opening, you decide, wild card, rewards. Inner earth, you'll survive this, new solutions, new beginnings. And you also have messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Okay, so instantly I got this message of, I'm just going to be honest because I'm an honest reader. I feel like some of you guys may be getting into fights or a fight with someone. Now, this is not everyone, but I feel this message coming through. I feel like you're going to get in a fight with a friend or maybe someone you're in a relationship with, and it's going to be a big argument. It's going to crack things open. It's going to really make you surrender to the situation that you're in. And this will, if this is for you, you will know because this, ha this situation has been going on for a while now. If this is not ringing true for you or you're like, I don't know, this is not the message for you. If you're in a happy, loving relationship with your friends, families, and boyfriends and girlfriends, whatever, this is not for you. This is for the person who knows already that this has been going on, okay? You are, you, I feel like there will be an argument. And I feel like you may say, say some nasty things. They may say some nasty things. And that's why you have this perspective card here. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. So I feel like for some of you, this is a warning. Yes, your guides are not saying you should not be angry with this person. Your guides are saying, watch your tongue. Because I feel like you might say something that you regret. Or if this is someone else starting this argument with you, they will say something that they regret. But for you, it's, it's irreversible. It's rock bottom. You surrender. You, you give up conflicts because this is like this is giving me okay because twin flames let's 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 just talk about twin flames for a second everyone says twin flames are romantic and they're the love of your life no they're not twin flames are not that twin flames is a soul two souls yes it is one soul that splits but they are here to bring out the worst sides of you they are here to be the reflection of the things you hate about yourself the most it is the most challenging the most difficult and unnecessary relationship you will ever have in your life 
Twin flames, not all of them are destined to be together forever. Look, there's two people here, and then she's walking through that portal alone. Some of you guys are too caught up on the fact that you found your twin flame. You very might have met your twin flame, karmic relationship, but that doesn't mean they are the person you are going to marry. I found my twin flame too, but it was like one of the most challenging relationships I was ever in. And it wasn't healthy for either of us to be in that situation anymore. So we ended the relationship. And now I'm in a new relationship with someone who is a soulmate. And it is the most amazing love experience I have ever felt. So don't get caught up in these titles of soulmate, twin flame, blue flame. No. This is... This twin flame is here to stimulate your mind and grow you fast through conflict, through pain, through hitting rock bottom. But, and then we'll get into the other message here because I do feel a different message as well besides this conflict here. You'll survive this. If you and this person stop being friends or break up, you'll survive this. New solutions and new beginnings are coming into your life that have been like, it's like if you've been trying to manifest something, but you keep, you've been manifesting like the same things over and over and over again for years and they don't happen. It's because you're still dealing with this person, this situation, and it's holding you back. Messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. So I really feel like, you know, I'm just a tarot reader. I don't know your situation. Okay. But I really feel like your life might get better once you lose I don't know how much they weigh, 150 pounds. <laughs> All right, but the other message I feel for those of you where this, you're in a loving relationship with everyone around you, blah, blah, blah. I feel like you personally are having a lot of self-realizations. Maybe you're looking at yourself and you're going through the shadow side of your life where you're, you're seeing the things you don't love about yourself and the pain and trauma you went through and you're really assessing that and you're feeling a lot of deep emotions and you're going through the past and you're relearning these lessons. You're going through your karmic relationships and you're trying to see, did this matter in my life? Was this worth the pain? Was this worth the tears? Well, you're doing, I see a lot of self work. I hear, I hear on like self care workshop. Maybe some of you are taking like a self care workshop, but this portal, I mean, this is, this you have three cards here that are like cracked open, perspective, none of this matters, common ground, rock bottom, conflict, soul growth, karmic, karmic relationships. So that's the first three cards that came out here. And then you have the next three cards, which was this portal. Beautiful, pretty, happy, positive card. You have inner earth. Beautiful, happy, pretty, positive card. Then you have the messenger. Beautiful, happy, positive, pretty card. Right? So this shows a complete 180 of the energy. Because you've been cracked open, because you've hit rock bottom, you're now able to walk through a portal. Because you have realized that none of this matters and conflict isn't worth it, you're able to see a different side of things, the new side of earth and grow and have a new beginning. Because you realize not every relationship is meant to stay in your life or not everything you went through had to have a deep lesson or maybe you do realize what you went through had the deepest lesson you've ever learned. You're receiving these messages from your spirits. Your, I really feel cosmic family. I feel like those of you who picked this, you know what star seeds are and stuff like that. If you don't, I would highly recommend you Google them. But this is just a beautiful energy flipping. It's like like not even a 180, it's a 360 turn of energy. And I feel like for you, I hate to say this, but for you, I feel like you needed to go through these energies. I know I had to go through those energies as well before I could obtain these energies. So let's see, let's get the tarot. Let's get a little bit more clarity here. See what else is going on for you. Show us what else, spirit. very powerful message though. The next 30 days are going to be extremely transformative for you. And I know whenever people choose this deck, there's always a message of deep like self transformation. It has to do with the self rather than anything else. So let's see what the tarot has. Whoa. First card out. We got strength. Look at that. And the strength card is going on top of this cracked open. 
That is so powerful. You are strong. You are capable. Some of you, I feel like you might be afraid to leave a relationship or to leave that past version of yourself behind. But no, you have the strength to do it. Do it when you're ready. Look at that, page of pentacles. These are all beautiful. Look, yellow, yellow. So solar plexus energy, feeling confident and assured in these decisions, in these situations, not letting people gaslight you or not, and not letting yourself gaslight yourself. <laughs> Receiving some kind of news, feeling more intelligent or not even intelligent, but feeling, okay, how are you trying to say this spirit? I'm sorry. They're just, they're talking very fast. Okay, it's like, because you realize none of this matters in a positive way, not in a sad way, it allows you to manifest something really positive for yourself, which you can obviously see down here. What else do you have? Two of wands. Yep, look at this. Two, two. I'm telling you, some of you guys are leaving someone behind. Spirit wants me to say 150 pounds. You're losing 150 pounds once again, aka you're letting someone go. Look at that page of cups you got page of pentacles page of cups there is some kind of news self-realization coming into the picture for you over the next 30 days whoa okay, let me try to freaking pick that up Wah! we have four of swords yeah deep healing on this new beginning card you know when if i look at this not in a relationship matter when we transform, when we heal ourselves, it's often very scary to enter the new version of ourself because we have no idea who that is. But I feel like you're being extra brave and you're doing it anyways. All right, last two cards out here. We got, or not last two cards out, but for now. We have the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Swords reversed. This is you, okay. I feel like you're going to take risks, but it's, it's like you're following your intuition. We have the black cat here that represents your intuition. And we have the sunflower, which is like spirituality. So you're trusting your intuition. But the queen of wands, on all the other court cards with the wands, so the king, the knight, and the page, they have salamanders on their capes. And the salamander represents, like, a salamander can walk through fire and not get burned. So they, so the other court cards exist, they can make moves and risk risk free queen of wands she has to take a risk she doesn't have any salamanders anywhere <laughs> she walks through fire it takes that risk of getting burned but it's she doesn't just willy-nilly make it make a risk she has the information to know she will be successful if she takes that risk and she trusts her inner voice to lead her that way knight of swords reversed you're not rushing you're not rushing this. This is very like day by day energy, which I really love. I feel like that will be so healing for you. There's news coming in because you have the page here, you have the messenger car and you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there is news coming towards you, but it's not going to be like by tomorrow, you're gonna hear it. It's like over the span of the month, you're gonna receive news. They're not telling me what specifically what the news is. So that means it must be different for all of you. Um, but there is some kind of news taking place here. You have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. Huge transformation, transformation. Maybe someone named Mason, maybe Mason, I don't know. I said the name Mason, so maybe that's someone. We have the Moon card here. Oh, but look at that. Mm, that's where we're ending it. Look at that, Eight of Swords reversed. Oh, this is beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands of gift from the universe, taking that opportunity, like, uh, okay, you guys are talking so freaking fast. Okay, slow down, please. Okay, so Ace of Wands, a gift from the universe, the manifestations that you have been working on for so long, finally manifesting because you've made this shift, you've done the healing, so you have earned this. And what I'm getting here with the moon and the sun card is there's like a night and day difference. It's like, you're going to go through the next 30 days and by the end of the 30 days, you're going to be like a completely different person in the most positive way. You go from a very confused, um, low vibrational, sad, not necessarily, you know, you don't have to be these things, but this is the, the vibe they're getting me. This kind of 
mysterious energy into this bright, abundant, carefree, happy, warm energy, night and day. But these cards together, it's like these opportunities are coming to you and you are this, the lobster is like, the moon card is like stay on the path you're on. So you have stayed true to yourself and realize your value, realize your worth by the end of the next 30 days and you're able to live the life that you truly want to enjoy for yourself. Pile three, this is absolutely beautiful and a very deep and heavy message. I am sending you guys so much positive energy. I feel like just do things. If you feel tired at any point, don't like surrender. Obviously that card suggested you surrender, but don't give up. Keep pushing because the end of the month is so fucking beautiful. I feel like September is going to be like your month. But that's it for your reading today, Pile 3. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. Become a mystical being today. I also offer private readings and other spiritual services like Reiki. I'll have that listed in the description box down below in my link tree. And also make sure you check out my Instagram. I post fun, cute stuff there all the time. And I post on my stories frequently. So if you like me and want to know about my business, head over there. And I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Take care.